Hey, what's good, everybody? It's been a while since we last posted on here. I want to thank everybody that stuck around. Um, it's been a rough couple last months since the last upload. Uh, just trying to figure out what kind of content I want to do, trying to figure out interviews and everything like that. So I recently did an interview with Nate's Vlogs. He's an old YouTuber, um, current content creator, has uh, natesflix.net, and a uh, yeah, general content creator, like I said. I want to apologize ahead of time for the video quality dropping in the middle of the video. Uh, using the GoPro 9, in case you guys are wondering. Uh, halfway through the interview, uh, the screen kind of cuts off halfway for my feed, and then it's just like that throughout the whole interview. So I apologize for that. Uh, it was still a good interview. I appreciate you guys. If you stuck around. If not, catch the next one. I'll do some other shit. Uh, but yeah, man, thanks for checking it out. And um, yeah, stay tuned. All right. All right. All right, everybody, welcome to the On The Quicks broadcast here. I got Nate Fisher, Nate's Vlogs, Nate's Flicks, and um, yeah, early YouTuber and um, overall content creator. So thanks, Nate, for hopping on this uh, quick little interview with me. Oh, yeah, I just want to uh, add to that. Fuck YouTube. Find me on <laughs> Netflix.net. Yes, yes. yes. Com slash at, uh, Nate Flicks and Rumble.com slash Nate Flicks. Everybody check them out. Um, what's the cause? So how you how you been doing today? How how was your day? You say you came from a party? Oh no, no, no. The party of uh lawn work. Oh uh, clearing up the lawn. Got a bunch okay. of uh pricklies in my shoe. I didn't change, I just put a coat over. Still oh, okay. got some work to get to. Then I got the notification. So I was like, Oh yeah, I gotta do this nice, real quick. Nice. Thanks for hopping on. Yeah, we'll we'll have like a you know, maybe like half hour, you know, interview real quick. Don't want to keep it too long. But that's okay. Oh, good. Nice. So, um, just want to jump in. So, um, can you tell me about your your background, like growing up and um, you know, early early childhood coming up and everything? Um, well, you know, I come from the streets. No, uh, uh, <laughs> uh well, you know, um, I mean, it's just uh, let's just get back to the a, a continuing thread. Uh, I I, I got um. Uh, well, you know, I was relatively young. My mom died, uh, inspired me to, um, well, I, I first acted out a lot. And then I got into channeling a lot of that uh, angst I felt into, like, I had a creative writing class, which definitely impacted uh, me later years when I started building my channel and got into uh, stand-up comedy and... Um, <laughs> Then I, I first got into theater, uh, which was an outlet for, for uh, channeling some of that um, shit when I was like 12. I was like my first play. And then I just finished rolling, uh, rapping my most recent play, for, uh, which included the first um, uh, scene that I wrote, you know, my first written uh, project uh, in, in the theater experience. Oh, that's and, cool. um, yeah. And then uh after high school i uh took a bunch of uh shitty jobs that i really didn't want because i wanted to be practical and uh i ended up uh you know getting into uh youtube by happen chance because uh, this was after i you know i had like a uh experience with uh stand up in theater uh cause i started uh theater 2006 and then I started, I mean, as right, the same year I started my um, my YouTube, it, I originally posted like clips of my stand-up. I didn't know YouTube would be like a, a platform where it would be able to pay me itself. Right. But I, um, it was around like 2007-ish where uh, I got invited to LA when, when I was in the Bay Area at the time to um, take part in, and it was like a production company that discovered me through YouTube. And then by 2008, I was uh, one of the first people to get paid through their AdSense program as soon as they opened it up. Right. Um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, and then once I got fucked over by YouTube, uh, uh, I, I started investing back in the um, stand-up, which I got out of in like 2009. And then I got back into it 2017. Then I got back in the theater. Um, 
2019. Um, and, and a good amount of my content is informed by the hardships that I had to uh, go through. My, my wisdom was paid for by my um, um, tumultuous past, my, my um, uh, the stuff that I had to overcome. Right, right. So. Yeah. Yeah, I remember a lot of your early content was just pretty much, um, you, know, you talk, it was almost like, you know, day in a life type stuff come and then like eventually came like more commentary um type of content so what was that oh, like no no it's funny it's funny you say that because um <laughs> my first content it was on uh, my my picks channel which was taken down like this year uh after i hadn't posted on it in years i was getting ready to start posting on it again uh once i lost nate flicks and uh nate's turn but um, I started posting like, it was like sketches, skits, like me posting like uh, prank calls and stuff like that. Then I started doing, um, it was around like uh, uh, 2008, I started posting um, on the Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton um, uh, candidacies. And I started just like, Barack Obama, I believe I, at the time I thought he might uh, be not full of shit and he you know he's talking about reforming our medical uh uh system and i was like i made v videos supporting that uh healthcare for all that i thought he was going to be pitching and then people were like man come on you, we want to see uh where's the prank calls where's the you know the stuff that they were accustomed to posting uh -huh. so i started nate's nate's vlogs for like, cause you know, people were used to me doing stuff in character on my original channel. So I started Nate's vlogs and that was like the first video. Most people never saw it, I, I, I took it down. It was me uh, responding to some uh, racist piece of shit. Oh, and I was shit. just trying to dissect, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, dissect what he was talking about and, and like, you know, uh, connected to a book I was reading at the time. And then I was just like, no, nah, I don't want to start this, uh, my, this channel off with this super serious energy. But yeah, like, I mean, more or less, that, that's kind of what I was doing at first. Like, and then, you know, uh, years later, <laughs> you know, after I, I had a following, um, I, I started uh, getting requests for like, you know, salacious videos, you know, like world heart, world star hip hop type stuff. And, um, and then I just, uh, I started, that's when I started employee evaluations. I was like, I need a way, right. like an yeah. episodic way of like handling that. So there's a lot of people who discovered me through those kinds of videos. Um, and they vary, you know, uh, some of them are really uh, raunchy. I'm, you know, discussing some, <laughs> you know, some silliness. Yeah, but, a lot, you know, a lot it, of wretchedness, it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, you know, like your, your jump on point doesn't necessarily mean that's where I was at. Uh, um, consistently at that particular t uh, point in time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I, that's like one thing, you know, some people who haven't been there, like, <laughs> you know, from the beginning, like they just, they discovered me during, uh, because of a very popular video. Uh, I didn't really uh, have a say in what got popular, but, uh, you know, like it was uh, <laughs> one particular gentleman uh, he, he was like, he, him and his friend, like they were basically creating a knockoff version of my videos. Oh, and, right. um, <laughs> uh, uh, and it was, uh, I had him help me edit and he was, uh, he would make the critique like, man, you need to get back to the original stuff. I'm like, you don't know what the original stuff was. Like you, you're just like, rip, you were ripping off like the popular stuff. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, yeah. And that's just, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm, uh, um, uh, a multifaceted individual. I mean, but but uh, oh, all in all, even when I'm dealing with the ridiculous, I like to just, I mean, um, uh, you know, just just really uh, point out the the, the silliness and um, backwardness and uh, the way some people think. But yeah, uh, yeah, because that was definitely my introduction to you was uh, the employee evaluations on on Nate's vlogs and. And uh, yeah, just, it was just funny as hell. I remember one of them was uh, with this white kid rapping, Locomotive Kurt. I don't know if you remember uh -huh. that guy. Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah. That was a big one. So what, were those like the first ones or were those segments like where you started like getting more viral and getting more traction on those type of videos? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that, those, that was definitely one of my most uh, popular series. Um, but ironically, my most popular video on like 
Nate's vlogs, you know, was a renaissance video, a, me, a video of me at the renaissance fair. I had like almost 6 million views. Oh, wow. And then, uh, and then my most popular video of all was on my original channel. And it was, uh, I think it was uh, New Reasons to Hate People. It was me dressed up as a redneck uh, prank calling people. And, uh, <laughs> and then I was talking about, um, it was a, a law being passed in Arizona to, um, that made it legal for cops to harass people. Uh, so uh, I was just like calling and I was like asking around up brown people uh, at the local businesses and stuff like that. And it was all like tongue in cheek, but uh, you know, uh, <laughs> some people uh, got offended. Some people, you know, they didn't realize I was joking. Oh, um, okay. So it was, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a mixed bag. I mean, but some people that, you know, they loved it. I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's one of my most, my biggest videos, I guess the, the bigger videos, they're, they're, um, they could be read multiple ways by different people. So, right. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't think I ever stumbled upon those because one of the ones that, yeah, I watched a lot of the employee evaluations and then I saw a lot of the, the rewinds were another popular one that I like yeah. to watch as well. And as well as like you just, uh, you know, talking about your backstory and, you know, telling about like um, the stories from your past. So um, you had a, like a, a really fat, almost like a fast, uh, I want to say rise on YouTube as far as getting the partnership or whatever. So what was that like? Because... Oh. From starting out, not like you started on YouTube from 2006, correct me if I'm wrong, then around 2008 is when, you know, the part the partnership happened, or, or was, that, was that when the falling out was? No, 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 it, it, no, it was, it was a lot slower, a lot more uh, uh, grit and grind, because by, um, yeah, and this was like different times too, so this was uh, 2006, we had the ability to make replies to video so I can go to a video and I can be like upload a reply and uh and then like you'll see the reply at the bottom so there were some videos I made a reply specific to that video sometimes I would just like reply with just content I wanted people to see but I you know that was a part of the grind too just like you know right uh, um but yeah uh, um I didn't really start uh uh get my numbers up like I didn't cross a hundred thousand subscribers until like 2014 and that was uh due to uh several videos I did getting picked up by websites like um uh, cop watch uh the free thought project it was videos of me getting harassed by the police which ironically was the reason my channel got shut down oh, wow. uh, so it's like you know there's like a mechanism at YouTube where they uh you know, because I was supposed to get my 100,000 uh, subscriber plaque, right? And then they saw, you know, um, someone enlightened me to this. It was uh, after my channel got shut down, I made a video talking about why I got shut down. And uh, someone enlightened me to something called the Atlantic Council, which is, uh, you know, it's like a bunch of governments, including like Israel, Saudi Arabia. I was at VidCon when Saudi Arabia uh, came to buy up uh, propaganda from Fox News, and they were also investing in YouTube, which gave them the ability to veto <laughs> um, content from uh, the website. So you could, you could oh, like, wow. if they don't, if you don't like something they said, they could, they could have your, your channel taken down. I posted a video of my interactions with one of their princes uh, still in my camera after he started a fight. Uh, but I didn't mention the, the name of the, <laughs> the, um, country and in that particular video i just said it's a prince and i said i was gonna wipe my ass with his flag <laughs> but um uh but yeah it, it was uh when i uploaded one of the videos of me getting harassed by the cops the cops said uh i wouldn't upload uh, upload that on youtube if i were you and i was a warning of we got the power to shut your shit down <laughs> but uh i didn't listen and uh, the video did gangbusters. It got picked up by all these websites. But then uh, I got three random strikes that were just total bullshit. Um, and and uh, <laughs> I, and all this happened when uh, they had like a phase, a fad of uh, people doing pranks in the hood, yeah, which was like yeah. a bunch of racist people going into uh, colored neighborhoods and, and just doing disrespectful shit. And then they'd film like people having like, uh, reactions that you know yeah like, I, I remember that era yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it was just it was uh just kind of like a weird double standard so you could have like people actually harassing me I can't 
uh, post stuff of uh, me in my house or me going out and just cops fucking with me. I can't post like what paid servants, public servants are supposed, you know, like what they're doing to harass me. So I don't know. It's just uh, I should have got off of YouTube back then. But I mean, I tried other alternatives, um, but, you know, nothing paid like YouTube. Right. But, you know, YouTube, they're getting all kinds of money from the government, working with the government. And that's just so they have like a, the the ears and eyes of uh, the majority of people. And then like, yeah, and then they can uh, shut you down. Uh, but I am glad to see alternatives uh, popping up. That's, that's what I'm investing in. And, you know, like I said, getting back into in-person entertainment. Uh, I got another play coming up. That's going to be it's going to be my first musical. And um, yeah, just get away from uh, just the bullshit. I don't I don't want anyone to be able to censor me. It's harder to right. censor me in person. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like YouTube a lot, has, especially recently, has been cracking down on a lot of content creators. You know, as far as like you know, the copyright strike system has been abused a lot, and you know, a lot of creators are trying to find different outlets. So, what what's like a uh, challenge right now for content creators, and what what's some things that you're doing to you know just uh, be able to kind of like navigate around YouTube and just be able to push your content still to like a a good audience, you know? Oh man. Well, I mean, it, it, I mean, I, I'm like I said, I'm on Rumble. Uh, it's it's like a fraction of the size of YouTube, but you know, their whole thing is guaranteeing free speech for the time being. I say for the time being because shit could all just switch on the dime. Who knows? Same with Odyssey.com. They had like a, a more robust way of capturing my old content because once I uploaded to uh, once I started uh, my Odyssey, it connected to my YouTube. So every time I would upload to my YouTube, it would automatically go to my Odyssey. So, um, it, you know, a good amount of my my old videos from my Netflix account are backed up. Same with Nate's turn. Uh, so when they went down, it wasn't like too hard. Uh, but yeah, you know, just also start my own website. Uh, so it's just, uh, you know, if all these other websites go to shit, at least I know I'll be able to, uh, uh, you know, post my on my own shit, my own website. Right. But you know, uh, getting into um, investing in like freedom, like just the ability to say what I want. It went from YouTube paying me, me getting paid like monthly to uh, uh, post stuff to now I have to pay <laughs> because it costs. Uh, uh, freedom isn't free, but. Uh, 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 I'm I'm just looking forward to the day when, uh, you know, YouTube goes the way of uh, Friendster or uh, MySpace. I, 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 shit, I don't even want to say MySpace. MySpace was a better website than even Facebook or YouTube. Uh, but um, they they fell by the wayside. Um, and I, I would like to see just people in mass just get off of the website. That's why it's like, oh, I, you know, I started like a TikTok, <laughs> reluctant to get on that shit. <laughs> Because yeah. I've been censored on that uh, as well. Uh, but I started posting on there because that's like the world's largest website at this point. So it's like uh, I started uploading the old content. Some of it got taken down. Some of the new content got taken down. Um, but they don't take my channel down. So they'll take down a video here and there. But YouTube, they give you three. Uh, they take down three videos in like three months. Uh, then they'll just take your whole channel down. Right. And um, they can change their policy on the, at the drop of a dime. So, um, yeah, uh, it, it's just too unpredictable. I was thinking of, like, starting another uh, YouTube channel. But then, you know, I already got – I lost enough there. Uh, I got I still got my tech channel. I do live streams on there just to tell people, go watch my edited videos on my website or, you know, the different websites that haven't censored me. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot, you know, I used to post a lot more, like three videos a week. Um, but, it, you know, that was when I only posted to one website and I had guaranteed money. You know, now it's like, I got to stay ahead. I'm like, I got to figure out where can I post this kind of content where, and then I just got to like uh, 
like just just it's hella mathematics I got to do in my head to figure out if I can where where can I and all that stuff and it's just like it's way more draining uh, than when I initially started. Uh, and, you know, hence the investment in like uh, just getting off of the internet in general. But right. uh, I, I do like the idea of just having a free platform. You know, like I, you know where. Um, uh, I could put the ideas out there, you know, especially uh, when I get my own fully, like my own play that I get the right, because the other play was only a scene uh, that I wrote. But if I get my own um, uh, full play, you know, I'm, of course I'm going to want to put that somewhere. And of course it's probably going to be controversial. So it'll be a lot of websites that will, you know, shut it down. But um, yeah, you know, uh, uh it, well, that's why you, you know, have your own just, website. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got my own website. Yeah. No, that, but, you know, I, I would like mass, mass, uh, like a mass market. You know, especially like some certain ideas. When I see, you know, one of the the things that hurts hurts me most is when people start to believe some like bullshit in mass. You know, like we're leading up to all kinds of wars. Like, uh, uh, you know, I see people getting uh, ready for war with uh, Russia or China or whatever. I feel the same way as when they were like, you know, uh, prodding us in the war with Iraq. I, you know, I'm not a, a Saddam Hussein uh, groupie or anything, but I, I don't want to go into this war. <laughs> you know, what the right, fuck? Right. Or how will we benefit from this at all? Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just I, I hate the, the the mass hysteria that that builds up in society. I, I would like to uh, um, eradicate it, but you know, it's hard exactly. to get a platform for it. Is that um kind of what your play is about, or what it was the the play you're working on right now going to be? Oh, well, yeah, the the play I'm um I got coming up is a musical. It's like some uh I didn't have anything to do with writing the the one I'm doing uh in August. I'm just just it's going to be my first musical, and it has some. It's like a loose interpretation of the Wizard of Oz, but it's like in Seattle, <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh. And then I got uh, the the play I, I just did. Um, the play I wrote was about like um, uh, a Batman like character uh, being the villain, you know, like like uh, you know, because he he encountered like another hero who uh, um, who uh, pointed out, you know, like that, you know, uh, most of the people who Batman was uh, uh, fighting, you know, destroying all kinds of property. Uh, you know, the, uh, most of the people he was hurting was like uh, employees of, of his company that he uh, deprived of a living wage. So they, oh, they turned to crime. Uh -huh. And it was, uh, I didn't get to act in it. <laughs> so it's like the actors took a totally different direction than I would have gone. I didn't have, have nothing to do with the direction. It was, uh, it was some frustration because, you know, it's, it, it wasn't the vision I had when I, when I saw it. But, you know, uh, People liked it, but and then the play I was, uh, the plays I was acting in were uh, multiple plays where I was a, a guy in a dysfunctional relationship. One was uh, more serious, like it was supposed to uh, end with me getting ready to slap my uh, wife, <laughs> and um, but then the teacher changed that. And then the other one was a more comical one where I was supposed to be an old man and a and a couple where where we both hated each other. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, fun, fun stuff. <laughs> Do uh, any people recognize you from YouTube on there or just uh, online in general? Uh, yeah, online, yeah, definitely, because, you know, it's online. Like, if, I mean, it's, I have social media that's been uh, up for a while. But, I mean, I've had uh, people recognize me in person. Uh, for last time it happened, uh you know, where someone approached me was like um, Thanksgiving last year. But uh, depending on the area, when I was in my hometown, it, it started happening more and more frequently. And then sometimes I had people who don't approach me in person, but then like they'll message me after the fact online, I saw you here and I, I was too afraid to say something. But uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's cool. I've had some, some weird experiences where I was followed and, that's why I think you need to respect everybody. Uh, you know, everyone has a right to privacy, right. Uh, especially if you're in the government and you could like spy on people's phones and 
you know, uh, track their calls and you've got a camera in their toilet. Just, you know, Shit. don't be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful about that so yeah. what would you say are kind of like your future plans for the website and just your overall like um you know just just as a creator what would you like to be working on in the future do you want to um kind of have the same platform you had on on youtube on rumble do you want to uh, focus more like on plays or what kind of is your plan right now uh, i mean i i would like it to to um all work symbiotically where it's just like, uh, it just builds, you know, one aspect builds up the other aspect, which contributes back, you know. But, uh, um, you know, I mean, I started, I got like puppets. I started like, uh, cause after all the censorship, I was like noticing like, no matter what I would post, it, had, it could get censored. I could post something with no other content, no third party content, but just me talking about certain things. Like the last strike I got, on YouTube was me just discussing the the upcoming uh, rewind I was working on. Just I was talking about like the plot for World War Z. There were no clips, there were no anything. And then like me talking about a movie <laughs> got my channel shut down. So I started like just uh, you know I had a cop puppet uh, that was a part of the the um, video that got me uh, my first channel shut down. My Nate's flaws. Um, that you know, it was a uh, uh, um, something I used, and then I brought that back. I, I added some more puppets. My girl got some puppets for my birthday, and then I just started like a, a new series on uh, TikTok news puppets. And it and it, I try not to feature my face in it. And then um, uh, uh, I ended up, you know, I ended up like just going at it, like kind of like you know, my first channel, my picks. Uh, where I, I give the talking points of the people who I disagree with, you know, uh, and I give them favorably and I just point out the hypocrisy in it. Uh, uh, and I hope that could, that's a way of getting past the censorship, you know, by, by, by me rooting. Like, I, okay, it seems like I'm approving this stuff, but, you know, if you know my humor, you know, it's just like, yeah, it's just, uh, uh, I believe the exact opposite. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. just, I'm just pointing out how ridiculous it is. But uh, so far, those videos, uh, none of them has gotten taken down. But one of them, like, I know has views on it because I went and uh, looked at it from, like, you know, another uh, account just to see because yeah. it says it still says zero. But I've, I've given it a like from another account and then I've watched it from other accounts and it still says zero. So it's just like some kind of weird uh, censorship. That's why it's just like I don't I'm not too enthused about promoting stuff like tiktok is something like like if uh, if it's something i'm going to upload to my um rumble right i'm like okay i might as well just take a few minutes to upload uh this shit to, to the tiktok right. and i've been um recently just uploading my back back catalog i started like doing at least three videos a day of my older videos on um my um tiktok netflix.net and it's really just more like it's like snippets so people can go to the website and watch the full video. You know? Yeah. That's like yeah. Cool. Nice. That's, that's, that's dope. That's what a lot of, I know a lot of people on TikTok do that to post their snippets on there and then their YouTube link right there so they can go into the channel or whatever link they want. I think right now it's only just TikTok and Instagram they allow you to put, if I'm not if I'm mistaken. Oh, yeah. So, um, so going back a little bit, uh, Nate's vlogs, and um, I wanted to ask so, what kind of was like your even now, like, what is like, where do you get most of like your inspiration from, like, comedically or just like you know, observational wise? Like, what was where do you get your inspiration from, or yeah, um, or, in, or influences also? Um, well, uh. I guess I get uh, a lot of influence I draw from just, you know, personal experiences. Like I got like, uh, uh, you know, initially the thing that drove uh, my Nate's vlog channel was like a lot of family stories that came from uh, just a, a very interesting family. Definitely, I would say the black sheep, but it's like the exact opposite. Everyone else around me was dark. I was like the light sheep. Um, 
and, and then like, you know, I have like, you know, just, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, a good amount of my um, um, activism was uh, definitely uh, stoked, uh, you know, as my dad, I watched him start to deteriorate because um, uh, he was like, you know, he was definitely uh, um, civically involved. Like he would, we would go to town halls and, you know, uh, he would uh, make his voice heard about a lot of stuff. I mean, it was difficult because uh, there was a lot of corruption and you shit, my family played a part in the corruption. I had two uncles by marriage uh, who were uh, in my city's government. <laughs> And uh, they, they, one of them fucked me over personally. And the other one uh, was overseeing my city when it went uh, into bankruptcy. <laughs> so, uh, so I, you know, I kind of have a intricate, uh, a little bit more intricate knowledge of just how fucked up government is just, you know, uh, when it comes to that. And plus like, you know, um, um, my uh, my dad, both my parents worked at military bases that were knowingly poisoning them. Oh, so sure. that, right, you know, like, yeah, it's like you can't even go to the, the uh, Mare Island Naval Base my dad used to work at. My, the one my mom worked at is still open. And, and they, they have like, uh, no, they, the, the people who run it know that the, the air and the soil is toxic and the water is toxic. Like it was giving people cancer. So it's just, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, I guess I'm, you know, a good amount of my humor is just drawing, like trying to make people understand a point um, that isn't necessarily funny, <laughs> but uh, I try to uh, use humor to, to, to just make people have that, oh, that's a ridiculous uh, point. You know, it's a ridiculous argument to have, you know, that's why I, uh, I started with characters, you know, like I had like a redneck character. <laughs> that, um, you know, I, I just would just say the most ridiculous shit, but it's like shit that I actually heard people say, you know, right, so, yeah. uh, so, so it's just, um, I don't know, just, just trying to, uh, use ignorance to, to foster enlightenment. Right. Almost on some Borat, Borat type shit. Right. Some yeah. Some like that. <laughs> nice. That's, that's cool. Um, so I guess now I want to ask you, um, I would say, oh, I was going through some of the, some of these, oh, so uh, oh, I've always been curious about this. Where did, uh, where did erotic come from? Oh, that was, <laughs> uh, when I was editing, I think it was a, uh, it was a Nicki Minaj employee evaluation. Or is a video of a chick making fun of Nicki Minaj, and then I, I just ended up like, uh, you know, had nothing to do with uh, the evaluation. I just said erotic one time, just in a weird way, and then I just took that and I just I just kept uh, adding it randomly whenever it would say something like that could be uh, misconstrued as inappropriate. Kind of like uh, that's what she said, but before that's what she said. Right, right. And then uh, the irony is, I posted the video. You know, I, I didn't know what to expect. And then, like, some people hated it. Like, the first few, <laughs> uh, few comments were just like, "What the fuck is this erotic?" Shit? Right? <laughs> and then I had like, like, just overwhelming because the video ended up doing like way uh, better than you know my previous stuff at, at the time. And then uh, the the it ended up getting me like new subscribers and people would just like you know like put erotic or you know like even in other videos like when are you gonna do the erotic again? And then <laughs> I just started uh, uh, adding it you know sporadically to uh, videos that uh, you know where it fit and uh, sometimes even when it didn't fit and yeah it, it uh, just, that was. That was hilarious. That was kind of like almost your trademark at one point. Where I said kind of like, <laughs> I would just say it randomly sometimes. Somebody's like erotic, but uh, um, um, so would you say um, are you a, do you still like your old content? Do you still or are you like one of those uh, people like oh I don't like you know how like artists like oh I don't like my old stuff like I I, I like more of my new stuff or are you that would you say <laughs> the type of person you are or is like no that's it's all good like it, it came from me so I like all of it. 
or how would how would you say you feel about it well i mean it it, it all depends um um you know like like uh because i was just reflecting because i i gave up meat or i'm technically pescatarian because i still eat seafood because i'm a i'm a fisher but uh it's an old video of me saying that i would die with beef in my teeth or something you know just but i mean it was all uh, i haven't seen the video since nate's vlogs went down but uh I, I don't know it's just like a lot of stuff uh uh i realized um you know like certain people were uh they were eager to get me evaluating uh you know like like certain kinds of um uh, uh content creators like it was uh it was a, a video, the first video I had taken down. This was before I came close to having my channel taken out. This was like 2012-ish, 2011. I had like, it was a, a chick dancing in her panties, right? She was like uh, obese, right? And um, uh, I ended up getting like a notification, like I was bullying this person, right? Oh, shit. And then YouTube asked me to uh take off the uh um the links to her video in her page and shit this is this is when i stopped i used to add the links to the videos i was talking about in all my videos i stopped doing that after this um but then i was like at first i was like flabbergasted like man well, I ain't, i'm not bullying anybody and then i went to see the comments on this on this chick's page and it was like uh oh you fat nigger bitch go kill yourself next vlog sent me I'm just like, oh well, my yeah. god <laughs> it was like comments like that and i was just like Shit. i don't want to contribute to this you know like it's a lot of uh racist ignorant people who can't uh think of a, a quippy comment to make so they they like would quote some of my shit and then just add nigger bitch and, and then like it would just make both of us look bad so uh that's when i just started like trying to uh back out of you know covering certain kind of content creators as opposed to like you know like little uh young people who are just thirsty for attention who just don't yeah. know any better you know to like i just started focusing on people who's like this is like really just bad behavior you know like just don't behave like this especially publicly like if you think this is cool uh you know uh put an end to it but uh yeah so as long as this um uh, you know, it's just not uh, meaninglessly hurtful, <laughs> like pointlessly hurtful for like certain, like certain people is just like, I just like, oh man, I wish I, I, I could imagine the comments that they got from uh, <laughs> that thing. But that, but that was like, I had like a sign out. I started having like a sign out, be good to each other. And I, that's, uh, that's when I started that, you know, like, uh, cause I really don't want people to be assholes to each other. So, right. uh, after that it was more focused on uh you know certain kinds of people who needed to be fired as mm -hmm. opposed to just like you know uh just being mean to people who are uh just thirsty for internet fame i mean i don't think anyone should be just wanting to get famous for fame's sake but and that's my my issue with like you know a lot of people who uh came up watching uh you know like uh, people who were <laughs> uh had to traverse the new terrain of youtube and just online entertainment you know like when i when i got into online entertainment i didn't know it would be able to pay you know like my my original goal was you know i was in stand-up uh i thought traditional television or you know film or something would would be what paid me um and then like lo and behold like this new opportunity opens up and now it's like a, lot, a bunch of kids who just want to be famous on uh, the online and right. um, they'll do whatever it takes. You know, they eat Tide Pods, they'll uh, <laughs> commit pranks in the hood, harassing people and being racist, you know. And it's just like, yeah, it's just like they don't they don't uh, they don't think of like this is what I want to be known for. And uh, um, I wish more people would put thought into that. But, you know, uh, if you just like a big girl trying to get famous off being a stripper you know i'm just i just i wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole at this point it's just because i don't i don't want to give like the ignorant racist people ammunition for uh making us both look bad right damn that's crazy how now you gotta but especially now you gotta think about like okay 
how will people interpret this content and will it be flipped around and you know tag people or like will this be used for some other type of like agenda or whatever but yeah especially now people have to think about about certain things like that um i want to ask so i remember i think this was also a lot of people remember this video of um or your channel uh was the graduation where you're talking to the future graduates and everything uh -huh. uh, i remember it affected me a lot personally uh, just because i wasn't going straight to straight to college after high school so that was really that was really cool to hear your side of the story so i want to ask like do you have any advice now for graduates content creators now just people just like entering the workforce in general like just anything you want to say from that um well i mean unity come together uh yeah i mean that, it's it's funny you mentioned that it's like one of the most uh most mentioned videos when people just talk about like what impacted them uh, aside from how they met my uh my content but like that's one of the ones but um i guess one of the things that that, that gives me uh that delights my heart the cuckolds of my heart is uh you know like just seeing like uh a lot of union movements you know like they're unionized they're fighting to unionize starbucks and amazon and i know it's going to be corporations giving them hell to prevent that from happening but the 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 class consciousness of the people who are working i mean that's the only way to real really change your uh um your the 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 standards of living that uh have been lowered uh over my entire lifetime it's, it's going to take like people coming together and saying enough is enough i, I stand with my brother my sister you know whatever your pronoun is <laughs> And um, and just you know uh, 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 show solidarity. So um, yeah, you know, uh, but definitely uh, you know uh, uh, some people don't choose not to do what they love because they have obligations. You know, like it's, but if you're gonna take a menial job, whatever job you you take should be able to afford you uh, just the basic st uh, standard of living, your rent, you know, uh, food. Like you shouldn't be. Uh, going in poverty, we should have health care for all. People should be going uh, going broke because they broke a leg, you know. So it's just, uh, uh, you know, just continue to fight. If you're not, like, you know, in a union yet or fighting to join one, start, you know. Uh, and, um, yeah, and show support. Nice. Um, is there anything else that you want to you wanna plug or um at the moment or anything else you wanted to just mention to um fans or also what do you think of the future of content creating just uh, do you think like you know when new platforms arise um will we see like a downfall and like you know the creator you know being influencers get a lot of people saying like you know influencers are kind of like a thing now but in the future is, is something that's not going to be you know as present as it is right now um well, man, I like to see the future of content creation, like just uh, uh, an amalgamation of like using online stuff to uh, uh, encourage uh, in-person content. Because uh, as much as I love like hearing, like reading the little comments, you know, people saying LOL or LMAO, <laughs> I, I I prefer to hear it. I prefer to hear people gasp when like something just catches them off guard. Or uh, and plus, you know, uh, I like the idea of just community building in person stuff. Uh, a lot of people who just comment are bots, <laughs> so uh, I like I like the uh, in person stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah. It, uh, I, I'm definitely wherever we go, like with the uh, new uh, platforms, online platforms, it has to be free. It has to be like uh, just anybody can speak, even your worst enemy, even like, you know, uh, didn't vote for Trump. I, I was against everything he stood for, you know, uh, still Democrats are probably worse, but that's another story. But uh uh, I was one of those people, I was just like, why, why is he being censored off of every major platform? So he's the president. So if the president makes a statement, like, 
the the all of his followers can't hear from him you know i'm like and that's when i realized like this is just it's crazy uh crazy times we're living in when they can the the tech tech oligarchs can like censor the fucking president of the united states no matter how you feel about him like you should never be able to censor anybody let alone the fucking president you know and usually they censor people not because they're saying they're lying because they would have censored uh, cnn msnbc Fox News, they censor people for telling truths that are uncomfortable. Bless you. <laughs> Excuse me. Those allergies. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely, um, um, I don't know, it was, it was a few um, other sites that I was hoping would have uh, more effect, more impact, like what is it, minds.com. I started a website. I started an account over there. It never picked up traction. It, it just so I just really stopped posting there because it was uh, I couldn't really see it. The, the no one else posts there either. Um, so I I don't know. It's, it's hard to get too excited about any one thing. I just know wherever it's, it's going to be, it, it has to be free. So uh, like I said, the only sites I post to uh, regularly are my site and Rumble.com and uh, Odyssey. Well, Odyssey is a long story why, but they, they got like a process to upload. I got to get more views to be able to upload more. But uh, I, I definitely uh, post on um, Rumble and my, my own site because, uh, yeah, the whole guarantee is just, I can say whatever. I don't have to like overthink. I could just, because uh, I know I won't be censored. Right. Yeah, like you said, that's a big part is make sure like everybody can speak, you know. Um. Let's go ahead. I think we got a good amount of cover. We can go ahead and wrap it up. Um, any uh, advice for the lonely creator right now in this in this climate? Um. Well, um, find out what your niche is, and uh, don't think about the riches. Uh, a lot <laughs> of people do. They, they 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 focus on what's popular, what's making like certain people all kind all kinds of money, and um. Yeah, that might not be you. You might have to be a trailblazer and that might lead to more money or that might just lead to just the, num the right amount of money or whatever. But money shouldn't really be in the equation. If you're just making stuff because you want to get paid, you're the reason why uh, platforms go to shit. You're the reason why music is shit. You're the reason why anything that used to be good goes bad because people just start just doing money calculations. And... Um, and it, unfortunately, I, you know, that's, that's just too many people. Right. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I would like to see more originality, um, um, you know, and just like actually uh, having to critique, you know, like a, a, a point of view that is outside of the norm. You know, like uh, uh, a lot of people, they just... Uh, it's hard to watch, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, people might say that about myself, but it's just, you know, I got my own vibe. I mean, um, and, uh, I enjoy, um, um, just, just rocking to my own tune and, um, and, and shit. I mean, I, you know, the, the, the people who approach me, like you're usually been like followers for over a decade and, um, the thing that attracted to uh, them or uh, them to me was just the fact that I uh, talk differently. You know, I just think differently and, and uh, that's supposed to be embraced. And a lot of people, they're just uh, afraid to do that and uh, just be more bold and uh, uh, money be damned, do what you got to do, say what needs to be said and uh, uh, fight the power to quote uh, uh public enemy <laughs> great I, lo I love that i think that's a good note to send it on um like i said i've been a been a fan yeah, since you know 20, 2008 so it's good still seeing you online good to see you nice and healthy looking good oh, and then appreciate um, it. yeah man thanks for thanks for coming on doing the interview um uh, everybody nate fisher nate's vlogs check them out on rumble go ahead and plug anything else you want to plug uh yeah the the well, Rumble, I, I post the, the news puppets. If you haven't deleted TikTok yet, it's news puppets on there. 
And then um, I also got like uh, music coming out. I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to be partnering with the independent website. I own part of uh, the website. Uh, they told me to come to them when I got like an album. I got 10 songs. I'm going to re-edit some of them. And um, uh, I'm going to be putting have, that on my website. Do, huh? we have a, do we have a future feature? A future feature? Yeah. Like future the artist? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no future on that. One. <laughs> but but I'm I'm, I'm uh, reaching out to a childhood friend who um, is quite talented. I used to be at the um, his little his battles when we were in high school, and he would devour anybody who would come at him. But uh, oh, cool. we ended up on similar paths, uh, and um, I haven't seen him since uh, you know shortly after high school. But uh, uh, I want I wanted to reach out to him like the first feature um, uh, a rapper that I want to include you know someone I've known for for uh, forever and um, and then the funny thing is after uh, YouTube and all that shit shut my my channel down uh, Google reached out to me they have something called Radio R A E D D I O and they wanted me to include my music they were like they just reached out i don't know what it was maybe i because i like uploaded a few musical videos to my youtube before it was taken down but it was like they, they were like hey why don't you up post your stuff on google a google based uh music thing and i was like i'm not fucking with anything google based google needs to die <laughs> but um yeah so so i wanted to do something more independent once again the the place that allows me to say what i need to say and um but yeah, yeah. So, so I'm gonna be as soon as I finish re-editing the ten songs because I'm gonna take the N word out because some of the <laughs> stuff was made like a long time ago. And that's one thing I, I, you know, I already got the word. I'm gonna replace it with it's gonna be fella, fella. <laughs> but uh, same syllables, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm 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 gonna uh, do that and 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 get a feature on some of the stuff that I already made and um, and just you know have at least it's gonna be ten like songs. Um, and then like, I got almost 10 like extras, like, you know, the parody songs that I made. Um, so I'm going to be re-releasing like an old employee evaluation song with, uh, an extended verse and all that stuff. Um, and it's going to be, um, uh, I'm going to first put it on my website and then I'm, I'm going to, uh, distribute it through, um, other, uh, avenues. So, it's going to be updated on my website when it when it gets there. And that's Netflix.net, right? Yeah, Netflix.net, yeah. Nice. Is that, um, and then a quick last final question, is that the, because she had an ass that would not quit, is that is that the song? Wait, ass that wasn't, no, 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 that's not, <laughs> that, that, that wasn't even uh, my song. That was someone took like a video of me talking and turned it into a song. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it was, it was very flattering. That should but, be a bonus uh, track. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a bonus track. Uh, uh, yeah, but the but like I was thinking more like because I got like uh, parody videos, so like one of them was like South South gonna hold it down or something like that. No, oh, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I got the extended version of that um, coming out with the uh, the because there was like multiple rappers in the song and I only did two, so I was gonna do like a an extra verse on that and. Um, and you know just uh, other uh parodies those are going to be like extras so um yeah that, that, but then like i got 10 non parody songs that are just like you know that, that are going to come compose the album so it's going to be 10 songs technically but almost 20 songs and you know with the extras dope dope mm, cool well everybody netflix.net uh Follow him on Instagram. They is a uh, I think it's still Nate's Vlogs, correct? Uh well on Instagram, yeah, at Nate's Vlogs. Yes. Awesome. N-A-T-E-S V-L-O-G-S. Because someone took Nate Flix and they don't post shit. It's just like they took it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Well, like I said, thank you again for hopping on doing this interview. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, man, wish you all the success and keep keep uh, keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate it and uh thanks for reaching out. Oh, no problem, man. Thank you. Peace. Be good to each other.